Okay, today we're going to put in a uh, the new two-port CAN bus bridge. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the battery and wait for about five minutes. Got my 10 millimeter wrench. Back with you in a minute. Okay, I waited a few minutes. I'm going to enter the car. This is my new two-port CAN bus bridge. I've got uh, Molex connectors on it. The car, I've already got pre-wired and I did this, got a, a power connector um, tied into the uh, CAN bus. I actually had a three-port CAN bus bridge that was defective, um, so to keep the car running, I built a jumper plug. This is going to come out and this is going to plug in in its place and uh, then we'll power back up and see what happens. Back to the battery. We'll put the uh, battery back together and uh, then we'll try the first boot. Okay, this is the first boot. Let's see what happens. Press the button. Sounding pretty normal. No faults. Goes in reverse. Goes in forward. Goes in economy. No faults. Looking good. All right, I'm going to close this and uh, take it for a little ride and then button things up. The test ride went really well. Everything worked correctly. I even tried the glide and drive. That's one of the features of the uh, CAN bus bridge. And it worked. And now my challenge is going to be uh, finding more of the hardware part, the CAN bus bridges. Um, that's it. Kevin out.